Hello everyone, welcome back to our daily practice problems in our channel Unacademy SN, the dedicated channel for general aptitude, general science as well as engineering mathematics. So I'm, as told by me previously in the previous daily practice problem, so we had uh, two parts, right? The ratio and proportion in which the, we had three parts and the mixture and allegation in which we had three parts. So now I'll be moving on to the next topic of our quant aptitude, that is of our quants or quantitative aptitude problems, that is the profit and loss. So if you guys see it properly, ratio and proportion, mixture and allegations, they are actually, these three topics are correlated with each other. The profit and loss, the ratio and proportion, and the mixture and allegation, these three topics are correlated with each other. So well, I welcome you all again once to the daily practice problems. Here we'll be going on with the topic profit and loss part one. So similar to all the other topics, three problems will be discussed in each class. So let's move on to the first question. So the first question is as follows. A furniture dealer <coughs> incurs an expense of rupees 300 for producing every chair and table pair. He also incurs an additional expenditure of rupees 25,000, which is independent of the number of chair and table pairs produced. If he is able to sell a chair and a table pair during the prime season, he sells it for rupees 450. That is, he is getting a profit of 150 rupees. If he fails to do so, he has to sell each each pair, sorry, not each watch, each pair for rupees 150. That is, he, ha he is having a loss of 150 rupees here. If he produces 700 chair and table pairs, what is the number of pairs that he must sell during the season in order to get break even? Given that he is able to sell all the chair and table pairs produced. Okay, so this is a simple question once more. Okay, a furniture dealer. Okay. He has an expense of rupees 300 for producing every chair and table pair. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we have to see here is for every chair and table pair for producing it, it costs around rupees 300 rupees for this furniture dealer. Okay, along with that, he has an additional expense of 25,000 rupees, which is independent of the number of chair and table pairs produced. It is not like one table, uh, table and chair pair is equal to 25,000. Okay, he can do 100 table and chair pairs. Okay. But the additional expenditure is always constant, that is 25,000. 25,000, which is the amount of expenditure is constant. 300 rupees for every chair and 25,000, it is independent of the chair. 25,000, it is independent of the chair. 25,000, it is independent. Okay. So, prime season, mein, in, the, in a prime season, he is able to sell this chair and table pair, that is one chair and table pair for rupees. 450 rupees. Prime season, when the demand is very high, he is able to sell it for a profit of 150 rupees. Okay. When the prime season goes off, that is if he is not able to sell this chair and table pair for 450 rupees, then in the normal discount season, he has to lose 150 rupees. Right? With a loss of 150 rupees, he sells it for rupees 150. He produces a total of 700 chair and table pairs. Okay. So after selling this 700 chair and table pairs, right, in order to get the break even, Okay, how much of uh, table and chair pairs he must sell during the prime season, <clears throat> right? In order to get a break even. So, what is break even? I'll explain it while solving the question. So, in order to get a break even, how many number of chair and table pairs he has to sell it? Right? How many number of table and chair pairs he has to sell it in the prime season so that he can make up for the loss margin? Okay, profit agar zada ho gaya, to loss ki bhi ho kar sakta hai. Break even ka matlab hai, it is equal, right? Equal. Break even ka matlab hai, equal. To loss jitna bhi ho, usko profit se ho kam kar lega, right? So options are given 433, 333, 533, and 583. Let's go on to the answer here, right? So I will write down the solution. So what is the total cost, <coughs> right? What is the total cost required? First, we will write down the total cost required. Okay, we know that he has 300 chairs, right? He has 300 chairs, right? So, first is the number of chairs, which is 300. Okay, and right, 300 is the cost of the chairs. Sorry, 300 is the cost of each chair, and a 700 chair he is producing, and 25,000 is his extra expense, which is independent. So, this will be 300 into 700 plus 25,000, right? <clears throat> 300 into 700 plus 25,000. 700 is the number of chairs this person is producing. 300 is the expense for each chair and 25,000 is the additional expense. So this becomes a 2,10,000 plus 25,000, which is equivalent to 2,35,000, right? 
2,35,000. So let us consider X chairs, right? Let us consider X chairs he sells in the prime season. X chairs he sells in the prime season. So in the normal discount season, kitna chairs wo sell karna paega, right? How many chairs he has produced? He has produced 700 chairs, right? So X chairs if he is selling in the prime season, then it means in the normal season or in the discount season, he can sell 700 minus X chairs, right? So if you know the quantity X and Y is equal to 100, you know that X will be equal to some portion, X will be equal to some portion. So Y will be 700 minus X, that is total minus the X portion, right? Total minus the X portion. So now let us write down the total break even here, right? Let us write down the total break even which is being assumed here, right? So first thing is, right? How many chairs he is selling at uh, in the prime season? It is for 450 rupees, right? It is for 450 rupees. So it is 450 into X, right? 450 chairs he is selling it in the prime season. And now in the discount season, right? 700 minus X. And what is the rate he is selling in the discount season? It is 150, right? It is 150 into 150, right? 450 into X, the number of chairs he is selling in the prime season, 450 rupees and X chairs. Then it is 700 minus X chairs into 150 rupees into 150 rupees. Uh, so let us solve this. This will become 450x plus 700 into 150. 700 into 150 is 1,5,000 minus 150x. Okay. So this will turn to 300x minus 1,5,000. Okay. 300x plus, sorry, minus 150 plus 300x plus 1,5,000 rupees. Right. Plus 1,5,000 rupees. So now I will explain you what is break even. Sorry for this. Right? Now we will explain you guys what is a break even. Okay. Break even ka matlab kya hai? Break even ka matlab hai when the product cost is equal to selling price. Okay. When the product cost is equal to selling price, then you call it as a break even. Cost price is equal to selling price. Matlab wo jitna bhi profit kare, Okay, jitna bhi loss ho, if the profit and loss are equal, right? Agar wo 10% ka profit karta hai, thik hai? Aur wo 8% ka loss karta hai, to 2% ka aur loss karna padta hai, taki wo break even achieve kare, right? How much ever he is spending for the product, that he much get it back. That much he should get it back. He should neither have 1% loss, or he should neither have 1% profit. So that is called as break even, right? So you know that in the season, right, what is the uh, equation we got we got it as 300x plus 1,5,000 right and what is the total cost he is bearing 2,35,000 right 2,35,000 so here 300x will be equal to 1,30,000 right this will come this side so x will be equal to 1,30,000 divided by 300 okay so this is 1,300 by 3 0, 0 cancel ho jayega so this is equal to 433.33, right? 433.33 or else I can easily tell it as 433 chairs, right? So this person has to sell around 433 chairs in order to get break even in the prime season, right? In the prime season. So that was it from this question. Okay, let's move on to the next question. In a transaction, the profit percentage is 65% of the cost. If the cost further increases by 15%, but the selling price remains the same, how much is the decrease in profit percentage? Uh, easy question, right? In a transaction, kya ho hai? 65% profit percentage. Cost price is 65% zyada hoga, amara profit percentage, right? Cost price ko agar zyada bada hoga, right? If the cost of the particular particle is increased by 50%, is increased by 15%, but selling price jo hai, wo same rahega. Matlab ye jo 65% ka profit percentage hota na, wo same rahega. The SP of both these quantities, it will be the same. But the price of the cost is increasing. So price of the cost increase karne ke baad, ye dono karne ke baad, dono ko we have to compare and we have to tell how much decrease in profit percentage has happened. So this is a quite easy question. So whenever they include the word percentage, right, whenever they include the word percentage, we have to assume Right? We have to assume the cost price of the material as rupees 100. Okay? Whenever they include this word percentage and they have not given you guys the cost price, then you have to assume it as 100%. Right? So what is the profit percentage they have told? 65%. 
this is the profit percentage right so if cp is 100 right if cp is 100 so it is 65 into 100 okay 65 percent into 100 this will give my selling price right so 100 plus 65 percent of 100 is 65 so 165 rupees will be my new selling price will be my selling price <clears throat> what is the second thing they have told 15 percent cost price has been increased right 15 percent cost price has been increased so that is also rupees 100 plus 15 percent of 100 is the new cp right new cost price that is 100 plus 15 right 15 percent of 100 is 15 so 115 rupees will be my new cp but what they have mentioned in the question go back they have told the selling price remains the same right the selling price is the same so the selling price will be again 165 rupees itself right the selling price remains the same <coughs> okay so either kitna profit mila mujhe either 65 rupees ka profit mila par either kitna profit mil raha so i am getting 165 minus 115 so i am getting a total of 50 rupees as profit here right i'm getting a total of 50 rupees as profit here here i was getting 65 rupees here i'm getting 50 rupees so profit decrease why here right so let us find out the profit percentage which is <clears throat> the profit obtained divided by cp into 100 right how much is the profit obtained that is 50 rupees what is the new cp the new cp is 115 rupees right 50 divided by 115 into 100 so when you calculate this you will get the answer as 43.47 percent right 43.47 percent which is nothing but option b because you know 43.47 is approximately equal to 43 itself because it is not more than 0.5 that's it with the second question guys okay now let us move on to the last question of the class if 10 kg of tea of price rupees 180 per kg is blended with 40 kg of tea of rupees 240 per kg and 55 kg of rupees 225 per kg and the mixture is sold at 23 percent profit so if this is done cumulatively what is the selling price of the mixture right mixture ka selling price pooch rahe hain okay ye ek ek quantity ka selling price nahi chahiye hame directly mixture ka selling price kya hai pata karna hai right so i have three quantities here one quantity of 10 kg which is sold at 180 per kg one quantity of 40 kg which is sold at 240 per kg and one quantity of 55 kg which is sold at 225 per kg right these three are added together in a single bowl and this bowl is sent at or sold at 23 percent profit right sold at 23 percent profit so what is the selling price selling price ka matlab kya hai? cost price plus profit gives you selling price cost price plus loss or cost price plus profit gives you the selling price of the mixture so let us move on here right so let's first of all find out cp per kg of the mixture right cp per kg of the mixture it is given by the formula w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 divided by w1 plus w2 plus w3 okay so this will be actually w1 w2 and w3 and the price is basically x1 x2 and x3 <coughs> the weights are w1 w2 and w3 the prices are x1 x2 and x3 the profit is 23 percent so let us uh, find here right uh, let us uh, include the formula so the first one is a uh, 10 kgs into 180 rupees okay the next one is 40 kgs into 240 rupees and the last one is 50 kgs into 225 rupees right divided by 10 plus 40 plus 50 right 10 plus 40 plus 50 sorry 55 55 i am sorry here right 55 okay so let's uh, just a minute yes so let us see yes 10 40 and 55 180 240 and 225 right 10 40 55 180 240 and 225 so when you calculate this so this will be 1800 and 40 into 240 will be 9600 and 55 into 225 will be 12375 divided by 105 okay so when you calculate this this will be equal to 23775 
divided by 105 which is nothing but equal to 226.428 rupees right 226.428 rupees are the cost price of this mixture or is the cost price of this mixture but what they have told this one is sold at 23 percent profit right this one is sold at 23 percent profit so what is the profit here people the profit is 23 percent right so you know that cp plus profit is equal to sp right cost price plus profit is equal to selling price cost price is 226.428 so profit is 23 percent of 226.428 right of 226.428 so this will be 226.428 plus 52.078 plus 52.078 so this will be equal to 278.506 right 278.506 so i can simplify it and write it as 278.5 rupees Let's go back to the options. Do I have 278? Yes, I have 276. Sorry, I have 276. It should be 278, right? I have 278.50 rupees. Okay, it is 52 rupees basically. So option C is the right answer. 278.50 rupees. 226 plus 50, 276 plus 2, 278. Okay, that is the option C. So that's it from the lesson, guys. Okay, this was the gate and uh, gate subscription details. You guys can move forward with it. Okay, I thank you all for listening throughout the lesson. I will see you all in the next session, which is the profit and loss part two, right? Which is the profit and loss part two. I will see you all in the next session, which is the next daily practice problem. Till then, please do stay safe and please do stay happy. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Unacademy SM. Thank you.